I know your deeds, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either one or the other. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot or cold, I'm about to spit you out of my mouth. Family, I always say it at the end of each scripture that I give you. If you are not walking with God, you are walking with the devil. You have to, have to make up your mind as to who you are going to be walking with. Do not allow God to spit you out. Do not be lukewarm in serving the almighty God. For he has done so much for us. He has done so much, so he gave us a choice. We have a choice to serve him or not to serve him. Let the choice for you serving God be today. Serve him. Because if you're not serving him, you're serving the devil. And if your God is dead, come and try mine. Okay. If you guys see, I don't know if you can see on the screen, there's a blue and a yellow. And the yellow one, which is the sun, you're seeing how much the moon has already covered it. But looking directly, when I look directly through my glasses, I can see that it's covering it over on the right side. If you see it right there, I'm going to try to put the reflection thing right there. It's right there. So I live in Georgia. We're not going to get a full, um, we're not going to get a full eclipse, but I think we're supposed to get like about 20% of it, if darkness. Well, that is cool how the reflection, my camera is giving me that reflection. That's stupid cool. Okay, y'all, I'm flipping to my right, my front camera. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Is that the sun? Yeah. Look at what my front camera is doing. Oh, I can't zoom for my front camera. But I can't zoom for my back camera. And I don't think I'm getting the reflections. Cool. Guys, I know I don't have on shades, the right shades, but I don't have any. But I'm using these shades and I can see it. Well, right now I'm just looking at it through my phone. I'm not looking directly at it. And I'm just showing you guys that yellow part. The yellow reflection. I hope this yellow reflection is going to show in the recording. Because is my camera giving a reflection of the sun? That is crazy. It makes you wonder if this is fake. <laughs> like, why is there a yellow? Why is the sun giving a reflection like that um, on my phone? Okay, guys. So you see this yellow? That's the reflection that you're seeing on my phone, if it's showing. I pray to God it's showing. But that's it on the TV. And that same yellow, this, he's using a, um, a telescope. And when I use my phone, I'm getting this as a reflection, like you see it moving around on the screen. Yeah. So I'm, I haven't got my tripod. So you see how I told you it's coming in off the right? Yeah, so I'm in Georgia. And if you guys didn't, if you live in Georgia and you didn't think you could see it, we're seeing it. It's not hard for anyone to find my phone number. <laughs> guys, I'm supposed to be cooking my pumpkin soup. And it's in here burning because I'm outside watching... Chicken eclipse. Oh, I'm trying to see if these vegetables are cooked yet. Oh. Okay, they're cooked. So now that the vegetables, I think I showed you guys how to cook this before. That's why I didn't film it. I'm going to put my um, coconut milk in. Is that a store? So I'm literally making this to have something to, like I'm prepping, prep meal prepping. 
And then I'm going to make me some chickpeas after. I don't think I ever show you guys how I made the chickpeas. Oh man, I ain't got no more coconut milk. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how I make the chickpeas. Oh, that tastes nice. And now I'm going to add in mine because I don't like when these are too soft. So now I'm going to add those in because I'm about to turn my stove off in about five minutes. Okay, so that's my pumpkin soup. Hey y'all. If y'all could smell what I'm smelling right now. I'm smelling victory. Oh my God, let me stop playing. Guys, there have been a change of plan. Okay, I know we left off working on my artwork. But um I may finish it and I may not. Because there's a change of plan. I made a decision on ooh. <laughs> I made a decision on Friday. And before I changed my mind, because I was feeling very See, I told y'all my nail would be breaking, breaking all the time, so I'm not even mad. Before I changed my mind, I quickly picked up the phone, called my girlfriend, so that I can't stop it. Because she is an advocate for doing what I'm about to do. And, um... She would, you know, encourage me and push me forward, that type of thing, and tell me the good reasons why to do it and not holding on to emotions and stuff like that. So, and yes, I made that call. This was after I had a long conversation with a key player. Y'all seen that? I had a long conversation with a key player, and um, yeah, so what I'm going to work on right now is my backsplash. I'm going to remove the black, the backsplash because I could just route it and leave it, but then those crooked lines are going to bother me because some of them, some of the lines are going to be crooked and then some of the tiles need to be recut because of the outlets so I am going to remove this backsplash I hope it's not hard to remove and then tomorrow I'm going to try to remove it tonight and then tomorrow I can start to retile um, yeah retile it and if I start doing it in the morning probably by the evening I'll be able to just go ahead and add the grout and um yeah then after I do that then you know I can put the outlets back in place because you know your girl be filming that outlet be like that I'll be like girl when are you gonna fix it when are you gonna fix it so I'm excited and I'm nervous I think I'm more excited that I am nervous because I know that this is God's plan he showed it to me but I didn't that's not what I wanted and that's typical right God always shows us we pray for stuff he shows us what to do and we divert from that because that's not what we wanted or we think that he did not answer us whereas he did answer so he answered me down to the the, the, the nail so I just have to see on the end of this um how how, how it's gonna turn out but the way it's going now, I know. I know it's God speaking. So, um, I am going to, I hate, I like doing projects, but I hate doing projects because you have to dismantle stuff. So you see, I already have my stuff going on here. I got to go move all this stuff from on top here, all that stuff over there. But I'm going to move them as I go. So, 
I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna try to move everything that I can to the island. To the island. Oh, this is heavy. Oh, who could have known pineapple would have been that heavy, child? Let me move you guys over here. So, how have you guys' week been going? Oh Lord. Oh Lord, this book got real wet. And molded up. Jesus. I knew that wasn't a good idea, but I still I still did it anyway. Okay. I don't know why I'm wiping this now because it doesn't matter. But I am. I just make myself sick sometimes. Okay. So I'm removing a backsplash and I'm going to use regular. Remember, I oh, let me tell you guys because I have a lot of new people here. When I install this backsplash, I use that um the tape for tile is what I use. However, these tiles are marble tiles, so they were too heavy. Like I needed to put them in and like grab them right away. Because I didn't grab them right away, I think that's why they started to fall and shift. So. Um, yeah, and then I didn't realize like it had two different, um, I guess the owner took them. Okay, what I'm looking for is not in there, but they came with the spacers and I didn't realize that the different color spacers were different color sizes. So I was using the two of them. So therefore some of the seams are going to be some going to be bigger than some so i just need to take this off like i, I always needed to i need to take it off i need to get rid of this because i'm not putting the tv i had left this space out because i was going to put my tv back i'm not putting the tv back there again. um and then these cutouts when my son made them he made them too big for um for the plugs so i do have to get i'm praying to god that they still have this tile if they don't have it, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm pretty sure they're going to have it because it was a very um, popular tile. So I think they still have it. But I probably would need like about one more box. But what I want to do is go ahead and reinstall everything and then see so I can see exactly how much I'm going to need. Right? So how much more boxes I would need. I think I'm only going to need one box. So yeah. Let's remove what's here now. I think this is gonna be hard to remove. Let me, I need, I need a knife that I don't care about. And then what I'm gonna do too, is I'm gonna touch up these cabinets. I hate these white cabinets because I wasn't able to do the doors. So I'm gonna just touch up these white cabinets so I can feel comfortable for now. Okay. I don't care where I start from. Can you guys see? I was feeling out of tune. Every weekend I was drinking with the crew. I'm feeling so consumed You took away my fears Now I'm brand new My purpose is revealed I'll tell the whole world How I feel Amen Nobody knows me like you Nobody gonna love me Quite like you Jesus, you're my 
A break. You showed me how to stand on my faith. The devil don't compare. No, he can't hear the secrets in my prayers. You lead me to the truth. No, nobody knows me like you. Nobody this is not gonna be quite like as easy as I thought it was gonna be. Got to abandon this. You said you were made for me. Yeah. I don't know what else to do. Catch a break. To get these off. You show me how to stand on my face. The devil don't compare. No, he can't hear the secrets in my prayers. You lead me to the truth. I don't have to go on without you. I was feeling out of tune. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if I put heat to it if it would if they will come off. This already got me tired. I just started. Like I'm tired. I don't know what to do. Oh my God. Whew. Guys. Any ideas? Any, anybody, anybody want to pitch out any ideas? You have anything at all? Anything you guys can say? is really holding them but they're already crooked they already drop you see what i'm saying but then they've been sitting there for over a year so um we're gonna have to come back to this tomorrow because now i gotta go process i gotta go process this the fact that i can't get it off and then probably i'll bring down my heat gun tomorrow and i'll put the heat gun on it and see if the heat gun would like melt the tape and then they come off that's the only next thing i can think about because i have a whole hammer and it's not coming they're not coming off um but i can like i need to redo this one for sure i can probably leave back here and just take off those over there that's around the outlet and replace those and then those that are closer to the stove i don't have to take all of them off um, but that is the plan so I will revisit this tomorrow because I was already doing other stuff and then I just decided because I said I was going to pick up the camera when I'm about to do this so that's why I'm only now picking up the camera so it's late right now and I thought I was going to knock this out real quick I thought it was going to be easy to pull off but they're not they are not. So, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm going to take off those that need fixing. Fix those only. Um, especially around the plugs. And then I'm going to grout it. Okay? And you guys will understand why. You may not understand right now. But you're going to understand soon enough 
Whew. I'm just gonna get me some water. Guys, I made me some um okra water. <laughs> so I have it sitting in the fridge right now. But I'm oh my god, my head is sweating. Like I wanna scratch it. Um so I'm gonna just get me some water right now. I have some blinds. I'm gonna change this out and put in the new blinds that I have for right here. Um I'm gonna put those in. Like I said, I'm gonna oh my god. Yeah, I don't want to give myself uh, too much unnecessary work. And that's what's happening right here. So. Mission abort. Abort mission. Abort the mission. Abort it. I'm going to get some water, guys. And I will see you guys on tomorrow. If you guys have any idea how I can get this thing off, let me know. Otherwise... Wait until I get it off, and I'll tell you guys how to get it off. <laughs> oh, God. Whew. Okay. Yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. You know, I look crazy. But I am up and ready to go. And we're going to attempt this again okay i got my hot my um heat gun and i'm gonna put some heat on this and see if it's going to release them i pray this works because i ain't got no time for the foolishness let's do this Floor in the core to get that, and um, 
Yeah, so I have to go to Florida Co to get that so that I can install those. And then by this afternoon, I'll be able to grow up this entire thing. And then... Then I have to fix a tile on the floor. I have to tile in here in the pantry. I got a lot. Anybody want to come volunteer and help me? I'm about to wake up my kids because I need some help. I got to put this thing back in the ceiling, cover that hole right there, paint it. La 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 There's so much to do and I only got two hands. Oh my god, my hair feels so light. Like it don't have no body. I don't know if it's because of the stuff I use in it. Is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, y'all. I want to go sit down, but I know I can't go sit down. I need to go to Florida Decor. But, yeah. So, I'll be back, y'all. Let me go put some clothes on and let me go to Florida Decor and pick up this tile. I'm praying to God it's there. It's there because <laughs> I should have been bought it and put it down because I knew I had to do what I just did So I should have been purchased it, but No reason crying over spoiled milk, okay? So I'll be back God have told me that this is where I'd be today. I plan my own story, but things don't always work that way. And mama done told me, don't ever try to force no one to stay. And life is full of changes. Then sometimes the things you love the most, you have to let it go. The test of life, the sacrifice for a You could just get a tailing out of the way and then you could cover it in your way. So when you make it, you'll understand. If I give you this line, you're going to try to be the nice without fun. Life is a journey, ups and downs and trying times. Yes, it can get lonely. Some you love will stay behind. But that I don't grow me, and time is a thing you can't press rewind. So make the best while you have it. Then they say you must obey and count your blessings one by one.
Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Guys, I am up early. I've been up early. But now it's late. And I still haven't started. But I'm about to get into the kitchen. I'm gonna show you guys the kitchen. I'm gonna show you guys why I don't like doing projects. I like doing projects, but I don't like doing projects. And I'm gonna show you guys why. My house turns into a mess. Have some people sitting right here. Okay. So, I actually came into the living room to put some music on. But, this is what I mean. Over, like, I've been watching a few of them. This is not what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm supposed to be putting music on and getting started. I'm watching this beautiful, beautiful house. Like stuff like this is so relaxing for me to watch. I don't know about you guys, but I can sit and watch stuff like this all day. Shower. Yeah, nice. touring these houses and stuff. But, yeah, that's what I'm watching. But I'm going to get up right now. Um, Let me show you guys. Like yesterday, I right here needed paint. Right here, need the painting by the door where you enter the door. So, check out this so I just I did the paint. So see, these are the candlesticks right here. So I have to put these there. back up. Um, and I have a mirror. One of the mirrors I, I took it down so I can paint behind of it. So I have to put that back up. Um, I painted part of right here on one of these. I painted um, yesterday as well since I had the paint out. But today, what I'm going to be doing today is I am going to now grout the backsplash. And then after I grout the backsplash, then I'm going to be doing painting all day. Well, not all day until I'm finished. Um, hopefully, I, it don't take me that long. The stairs is going to take me the time because I have to sand it and then I have that height dealing with. And after I paint it, I'm going to decide if I'm going to put up the artwork still. I haven't decided that yet. If I have to bring the tall ladder inside, I'm going to put it up. If I don't, I may not put it up. Um, what else do I have to do? I have to paint the island. So we're going to paint the island. Then in the the, the guest bathroom, um, I have to... Uh, Excuse me. I have to fix the wall uh, where I had the uh, I had the thing to hang the towels on because I don't know whatever tape they used it it didn't hold so it kept it fell off and it pulled off the tape when I was trying to take the tape off it pulled off some of the paint so I have to repair in the guest bathroom I'm trying to do like all these unfinished tasks that I have through the house. I'm trying to fix them. So I have that to do in that bathroom. Um, we did add, let me get up. This house is so pretty. I'm gonna have to rewatch it. I saved this so I can rewatch it. Brought my cup downstairs today so that I can, um, oh, I have to tidy back up my dining room. I'm gonna do all that's gonna happen today. Oh, this kitchen. This kitchen, child. This kitchen. Why well, came in? I forgot why I came in here to show y'all. Oh, I finally put up this thing yesterday to cover that opening, and then I have to paint that. So, that paint, that's going to happen today. But, I finally put the floor down in here so I'm gonna put the base on here today and I'm gonna paint this today because I have to paint the island so and it's the same color paint so I'm gonna paint that today put the base in finally did this floor I have to put a transition in right here and then I have to clean up in here like 
in here is a mess. Look at it. Somebody come look at it. Somebody come look at it. So I gotta clean all that up. I got so much stuff. So guys, this is how the kitchen is looking. You guys see? This is what I'm talking about. This is why. Look at the floors. We have to pull the stove. I'm have to pull the stove out again today. I gotta fix this wire for that light. I told you guys I was gonna change this blind out. I can't change it out. My son, he put that box up. I don't know. They know I don't put stuff on top of my thing. But um, the blinds that I do have. They are two inches too small. If it was one inch, I would make it work. But it's two inches. It's going to be too small for up there. So I'm going to take, I'm going to just, I don't know, figure that out. I guess I'll take those down and I'm going to clean them. I hate, everybody know I hate them blinds. I hate those two inch blinds. So I have to tidy up this. Um, We did, it has like a couple cracked tiles right here. So we dug those up yesterday and my son put some new tiles in and then I bought some grout cleaner to try to clean this floor. So I'm going to grout today and then hopefully I can do that. Um, but yeah, so I'm about to go clean out that bucket right there. My daughter's cursing me because she was like, why are you doing all these um things and you didn't prep the place? You didn't move move that table from there. You didn't this and then I'm like, girl, don't bother me. Just do what I ask you to do. I don't need to hear what you gotta say. Um, yeah, I took down that thing up there so I could clean it. Um so yeah. Let me get to work, guys. Um, I don't know if you guys going to see all of this. Maybe you see the grouting part of it in this video. And next week's video, we will continue. And I will tell you guys where I'm at and what's going on and everything else. So let me get to work. Okay. Oh, and I'm about to make my lemon water. This is my actual cup. I need to put these pots away. These pots are clean. So I need to put those away. And then everything on top here belongs like um here. So it looks a mess, but stuff is just not where it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna make me my lemon water so I can have that to drink today. Um let me make that first so I can drink that during the day. And um then what else? That's it. Yeah. So my house right now looks disgusting this kitchen area and my kids are not like me so I did have them helping me and they don't clean up like keep cleaning as they go and then I end up getting tired um and I was like you know what I have to come down here and like especially the floor I have to make a mess in this floor today scrubbing this floor but I'm gonna do that after I paint um we touched up the cabinet today with the white. They had some dings on them. They were, um, this one had a stain coming down. We scrubbed it, it still didn't come out. I gotta put this knobs back on today. Um, my daughter paint all them things. She didn't take none of them knobs off. Child. So when I came in to paint, I took these two knobs off. Um, I fix right here. I have to fix over here. Let me show you guys. I can now walk on this floor. We had to set up all kind of stuff for people to start walking on that floor yesterday. So right here, I have to fix. Um, I think I'm. I don't think. I think if I paint it, you're gonna be able to see it. So I think I have to put a little bit of plaster there, sand it down, and then I can paint. So I'm gonna do that as well as soon as I finish grouting. Um, yeah, and I was cursing them out about all this stuff they have on top of my fridge. I'm like, this stuff been up there since Christmas, this, this thing, 
And I'm like, y'all not don't like stuff on top of my stuff. Like, why? My son put that up there. He got that for um, baby Zyla to be doing chocolate or something. I think it's for milk to do chocolate. I don't know. But, yeah. So, I have to repaint this. And the reason why this chip like this is because the paint that I use on it is not cabinet paint. It was wall paint. Okay? These bottom cabinets was supposed to... I was going to do them blue when I changed the doors out. But I'm not able to do that right now. So it's going to stay like this. I don't know. If a bug chick chook me, I might go ahead and just paint it since I got the paint out. I'll see. I'll let you guys know. Okay? So. Yeah. Let's do this. I want to be in your life until the night is over. I want to hold you so tight, so tight, coming closer. It's been a hell of a ride, but every single moment, you were there by my side.
finish. I only have to do behind the stove, but I have to wait until um till I get help to pull the stove back out because it was out last night, but I pushed it back in for clearance. Um I'm gonna give it one more, I'm gonna let it like dry and then I'm gonna wipe it down one more time for any haze. Remember I told you these are marble tiles? So, <clears throat> in case any of you want to know what these tiles look like, they are from Floor and Decor. And they have like a slight little, if you can see it, gray in it. Um, just not all of them have it, but these are the tiles. It, now, it has some like this that is extremely long. These are the 4x12, okay? And they are marble tile. They're about $6 plus for one. So, like I was saying, they were really pricey. So, for me to take these off and risk breaking them, as you can see, a lot of them were breaking as I was trying to take them off. So, that wasn't happening. So, guys, I am going to um, let it dry, like I said. But in the meantime, I'm going to clean off the countertop. Um and start putting stuff back. I'm gonna wipe it down and then start putting stuff back so that I can move on to the next task. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below and let me know if you learned anything here, especially how to remove these tiles from the, um, from the tape. So you need heat. <laughs> heat is the best thing to remove it. Um, this took me I want to say two days because the first day I tried, that was in the evening. It didn't work out. And I came back the next day. So I have to go and look for the grout for the floor. It's in the garage because this is a white grout and that was not a white grout. So I'm going to go look for that. But after I wipe this off one more time and I do the behind the stove and the floor, then I'm going to move on to the painting. So guys, see you in the next video, on next week's video. Next week's video, you will see more of what I have done um, to the place to update it and to get rid of a lot of these unfinished projects. Um, I have this on today because my hair is full of paint. I don't know when I bent down and paint got in my hair. But like over here, it has a lot of paint. So I had to take time and get it out last night. So I decided to put this on today. Let this get messed up, not my hair. So that's it, guys. That's it for this week's video. See you on next week's video where we will continue what I got going on here. Bye. Always remember, never let your budget dictate your style, but create a space that you love. Designed for life. <laughs>